Well, good morning. Um, I say good morning because it's fairly early this morning. I um, thought I'd come out here and do another story. Um, got a kind of busy day plan, so I'm going to get this out of the way and then I can do other things. But anyway, I have a, a little story this morning about a uh, very large wheel loader. A 992C um, wheel loader was at a quarry, and um, they had sent somebody else, I think. Uh, yeah, I think they. Maybe it was me. Anyway, went out to this machine. I had to do an injection pump. So the pump was removed, brought back to the shop uh, for service. And when the pump was ready to go back on, I took the pump back. I took it to the machine, installed it. Uh, 34, 3412, I think it is, the engine in that thing. Big engine. So I installed it and started the machine up. Everything was cool. I did the adjustments, all the, you know, adjustments that were needed to put this thing back on, you know, back in service. <laughs> about a day, about a day goes by. My service manager contacts me and says, "Hey, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the. Um, it was Course in Line was the was the name of it originally. And then somebody else bought it, and I forget what they called it. But anyway, they called and said that the machine had lack of power. Okay, so I go back out." I do all the testing and everything seems fine. It's all testing perfect. So I came back to the shop and I spoke to my service manager and I told him, I said, look, this machine's fine. There's nothing wrong with that engine. There's nothing wrong with the machine. It's got plenty of power. It's doing everything it should do um, per Caterpillar, you know, uh, adjustments and everything. Yeah, it was right. And I remember my service manager said to me, who was out on this one at last? Now, I, would, I had no idea of that. Uh, well, it turns out <laughs> one of my very favorite workmates uh, in field service, Ed Cat, had gone out on this m machine prior, years prior to this injection pump needing to be replaced, and turned off the rack to give it more power. So the operator was used to the machine turned up. It wasn't the way it should be. In other words, it, it, when it leaves the factory, it's, it's a certain way, and that's the way it's supposed to be, always. Well, if you turn up the rack, it gets more power, it gets more fuel. I mean, the whole machine, it, it takes on a whole new life. So it has been turned up. <laughs> so that was the thing. It, it was not normal anymore. It was not in cat specs anymore, and well, I don't know whatever happened with that. I don't know if they sent somebody back to it to turn it up or they just told the customer, sorry, we can't do it. I don't remember. But I just remember that was a situation where, you know, after doing this job and then having them complain, yeah. It turns out somebody, and I'm not going to name names, but I think any of my field surface techs that will, are watching these videos will know who I'm talking about. Okay. Um, that's good for now. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do one more here.